Hi, my name is Ben Trolis, and I'm a pastor at Manor House Church in Portland, Oregon. Today's verse of the day is Psalm 46, 10, and it says, Be still and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the nations. I will be exalted in the earth. An interesting fact about this verse is that out of the 11 verses in this chapter, this is the only one that is in the first person. The chapter is a song about God and challenging tumultuous times. But then we come to this verse where God himself speaks clearly and he says, be still and know that I am God. Be still is translated in other versions as stop striving, stop fighting. And we live in a world in which striving and going faster and accomplishing more is respected and it's admired and rewarded. And good work, hard work is good and it's important. But when does it stop? Because God didn't design us to live there. Ultimately, you and I were created for a deep, personal, meaningful relationship with God, the creator of the universe who made you and knows you and loves you. And that doesn't happen when we're worrying and striving and rushing. So that's why God says, be still and know that I am God. The question isn't whether he will be exalted or not. The question is whether we will stop our striving long enough and often enough in order to focus on him and grow in our relationship with him. He will be exalted among the nations and in the earth, but what about in our hearts? So I want to challenge you to do this right now. As soon as this is over, just pause. Let the world spin on but let your thoughts be still and focus on him and who he is and how much he loves you and the fact that he is with you. And if he loves you and if he's with you, then everything else is secondary because you're going to find your purpose and your meaning and your peace in your relationship with him. May we be a people who listen to God's voice and respond in obedience. Make this a part of your daily life and watch your life change.